Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got to talk about this man right here, Vin Vincius Oliveira. And my goodness, the fun matchups we can have with him. It, 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 it's, it's rare to me personally to find a guy that at some point he's going to have some losses because of his style because he's a little reckless at time he's a little wild he does get hit um and if you watch the uh the 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 fight just a couple yet just yesterday that he had won against Bernardo Sopai he you know had a hard time of getting him off of him he had a hard time of getting him off of his back um cardio seemed to be a little bit of an issue and then at some point you've seen him never give up and i think that's also something that we we really need to talk about because again there's a point in there possibly that a ref that the referee could have stopped that fight i think that is a reality but the matter of the fact is is he didn't and vincius reverses that position and then he just goes on the offense it's not like he reverses it reverse that position and he just uh lays there and waits to the third round and immediately as soon as he gets on top of bernardo he just goes for it and again uh, you can say reckless and all these things. It's creating opportunities. It's opening up these small windows of, P of fighters being able to be hit by this man. Now, again, if I'm correct, which I'm pretty sure I am, this this was his 20th win um, with um, uh, 16 or 18 finishes, 16 TKO or KOs. That's awesome unbelievable you know and again the one lot the last loss that he did have he was dominating ended up getting caught um three wins in a row only 28 years old 18 finishes 16 wins by tko or ko now again he has been stopped three times by uh, uh punches again the christian christian quanera's fight is a little weird watch the fight it's weird. Uh, the Andrino Ramos, Ramos one, he was finished under a minute and 40 seconds back in 2019. And then he goes on a big win streak. Some pretty decent competition in there, like 11 and 3, 14 and 1, 12 and 3. Um, uh, and then uh, another guy that was 7 and 3 beats him by rear naked choke. And, but fights Ali Talib, again, gets finished. Um, dominating until he gets caught and then he goes on a three a two fight win streak or wins his next one fights in the contender series and then now he fights then he fought a uh, bernardo so uh, sopai and again the first half of that matchup did not look good it didn't look good he had a hard time getting him off of him he had a hard time with his cardio it seemed um, on the feed he wasn't connecting with the leg kicks and it seemed a big thing with him is if he can't connect with those leg kicks he has a hard time figuring out that distance it's reality because he, even in the Vic uh, Madrigal fight, he was throwing the leg kicks and he was able to set up his punches. And Bernardo, he couldn't set up those leg or he couldn't uh, hit those leg kicks as consistently as he wanted to. So he was having a hard time finding the distance for his unorthodox striking. But again, the, the this man is so fun. Again, I might be fanboying here. I might just be going on that hype. But I was talking about this guy before that flying knee knockout which is unbelievable for sure but in this guy being a bantamweight 78 right now it's going to change on tuesday for sure for sure like you could put him right now against rulian pivon you could you could easily put him against rulian pivon i think and then uh yeah so he's here 78 so you could do uh da, 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 da. you could do Let's see. Mm. You could do a rematch with him and Christian Cornelius because that fight was, again, weird. He's coming off of two submission losses. His grappling actually looked pretty good against Hani Barcelos. His striking didn't really impress me. He looked His striking looked real good against Kali Taha. Um, just hasn't really looked great in his last two fights. Um, they have TJ at 60. That hurts. That hurts hurts you know a really good fight that he could be in the mongolian murderer uh arichi lang that that's a really good fight for him i like that one a lot another good one technically would be taylor laplaus uh i think it's La oh, lapalus maybe lapalus um that that's again that's another really really fun matchup of course ranks are being updated oh Okay, they're being updated right now as I'm speaking about it. But yeah, this he's he's so much fun. There's a lot of really fun fights out there. You know, I, I like 
hit the potential of matchups that we can get. I don't expect this guy just to continue to win and get a title shot. I expect him to have some issues. And he also, last point before we end this video, called out Umar Numargo Madoff. Now, I don't necessarily like that matchup for him. But you want to make a splash, you call it the, hard, the hardest test right there, which I do think Umar is. His grappling's unbelievable. But you want to make some crazy matchups there? Okay. I, I like you calling people out. I like that a lot. But as always, guys, let me know what you guys think. Am I just overhyping it? Am I just having fun? Am I caught up into that hype? I don't really. I hope not. I think he's fun. I think the matchups could be great. I prefer to watch him fight some strikers, obviously. But I like it. I like it. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys are thinking. Peace.